Okay, so you believe in you believe in proof. Yes. Now proof presupposes truth, logic, and knowledge. Correct. Yes. Okay. Now, what is truth in your world? Truth is uh, what has been accepted and what has been tested. Truth. Is, so, would, would you agree that truth is factual? Truth is whatever's real. Yes. So you have a correspondence theory of truth. Truth is that which corresponds to reality. Correct? Yes. How do you know what's real? I know what's real by what is tested and right. what is accepted over and over and over again. Okay. Throughout time and through scientific measures and right. through the scientific theory. Okay. Now, in order to come to those truth claims, you're employing your reasoning, correct? To an extent, but I'm also employing the reasonings of thousands right. of other people. But men in order to interpret what those thousands of other people say, you're, you're employing your reasoning. Yes. Okay, so truth, you know through your reasoning, right? Along with. All right, but the thing is, you have to reason about what other people say. My question to you, sir, is how do you know your reasoning is valid? I don't. That's right. So if you don't know your reasoning's valid, would it not follow that you can't know anything to be true? Yes. Okay, so that's the problem. But the does Bible, it again, can I, can is I it the same to, for you? Do well, you not see, know anything to be no, true? No, no, no. What I'm saying is you do know things to be true. To deny truth, to deny knowledge is a logical fallacy. We know things to be true in our own realm, like you said, what is real. Well, the, this is the question, sir. Could you be wrong about everything you claim to know? Yes. Okay, now here's the problem with that, because when you say you could be wrong about everything you claim to know, you've given up knowledge. And I'm going to explain that to you. Let's say I asked you how tall this building was. And you says it's 50 feet tall, but I could be wrong. Do you know it? No. Not if you could be wrong. Correct. So if you could be wrong about everything you claim to know, it follows that you know nothing. Yes. Oh, but absolutely. the problem is you do know things. No, I don't think so. The only well, thing I do know is that I know nothing. Do you know that? Yeah. That's two. Do you know that you're at this university? Do you know that you're studying? No. I'm dreaming. So that's right. You could be dreaming. Yeah. So without, unless you start... I'm going to explain to you why, unless you start with God, you can't know anything at all. But you do know things. You're spending big money to be at a university to study things. The cop pulls you over and rolls down the window. You say, I don't know if you exist, sir. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pay the fine or whatever. You don't live like that. Hang on. This guy's having a very good conversation. If you please not interrupt. What I'm going to say is, unless you start with God, hang on. Unless you start with God, you can't know anything. Because in order to know anything at all, you would have to know everything. Because no, if you don't no, know everything, no, no, no. what you don't know could contradict what you think you know. But does the, that make sense to you? It does. But can't okay. the argument be posed in the same way uh, that you're talking about God? Well, we'll get to that in just a minute, okay? Yeah, well, and and I'll be, I'm answer, glad to answer your answer question. You're reasoning question. very well, sir. So in order to know anything, you would have to know everything, right? Or have a revelation from someone who does. Who is that's he? the Christian worldview. That's God has you? revealed truth to us in His Word such that we can know it for certain. Because you know things for certain. Do you know why you know things for certain? Because you know that God exists. And that's what the Bible says. People don't go to hell for denying what they don't know. They go to hell for their sin against the God they do know. And I expose that people know God when they make knowledge claims that they can't account for without Him. Is that about him? Yeah. See, that's the problem. See, Jesus Christ did not only die to save souls for eternity, He died to save reasoning now. Because if you say, I could be wrong about everything I claim to know, I say, could you be wrong about that? It's absurdity, and that's the option. You have God or absurdity. But people choose absurdity because they love their sin.